Hi. In the early 60s, Steve Reich pioneered the technique of using different length tape loops in composition. The idea is that two short loops, either identical or completely different, would drift in and out of phase or in and out of sync to create new rhythms that weren't there before. In this video, I'll explore a little trick you can use on modern day samplers like this one and the Digitact to create either rhythmic phasing patterns like this one or evolving ambient soundscapes using only a few short loops. I'll get back to this gem in a bit, but let's start with the basics. So, samplers will typically let you load up a sample and drop it on a sequence or play it. Usual stuff. But if I extend this sample so it doesn't decay, and then just pick a segment of it and loop it, it'll just go on forever, even if it's not on a sequence. In some samplers, you can use a looping point, but this one I'll just pick a start and end and let it loop, and it'll just keep going. I could add effects to it, for example, so I'll send it to the reverb a little bit. And on samplers like this, you can load up more samples. In this case, I'll take the exact same sample I used in the first track, but this time tune it a whole octave lower. Let it loop by setting decay to infinity, then choose a different snippet, and reverse loop it. Now because I picked pretty much arbitrary start and stop points, the samples will play in and out of phase with each other in really nice ways. I'll load up another sample, in this case just the texture. This is regular noise. Extend that too to loop. And I can apply an LFO, in this case to filter frequency. It's too fast. Slow it down. And then if I lower the cutoff point and add some resonance, the LFO will make this sound like wind. So I know electron devices are known for their sequencers. We're not using the sequencer here at all. Just looping samples. Okay, let's load up another one. This is a loop of uh, birds chirping. And I'll tune it as well. And again, to make this work on Digitact, I've got to make the loop loop and decay set to infinity. It's really cool that you can make all these changes live while the loops are running. So, for example, I'll apply an LFO to the pitch of this sample so that the pitch of the bird singing will change gradually over time. That's a bit too fast. I'll make it slower. So, so far I've loaded up four tracks and they're all phasing in and out of each other on the sample level rather than polyrhythmically or polymetrically with beats. Now to save time, I have three more textures that I've preloaded here. I can just play with their respective volumes. This technique works on the Octatrack and I'll also show it to you on model samples in a bit. It's not Electron exclusive, obviously, you can do this in a DAW like Ableton. And if you're familiar with other samplers that can do this, please leave their name in the comment section. Now, I'm moving between tracks here by holding the track button and pressing the track number. If I didn't hold the track button, the sample would jump to the beginning. But as long as I don't interrupt the samples, they'll just keep going and phasing in and out with each other. I can add effects to them. Like delay here. Change their relative levels, filter them, 
add drive, you name it. You can also pan the samples to the left and right, and then pass each side through different effects chains. Now this works really nicely with these ambient loops, but if you're willing to take a chance and get more aggressive rhythmically, let's get back to the piece inspired by Steve Reich that I played in the beginning of this video. The loops in your left ear and in your right ear are identical. The maximum sample length on model samples is 120, but if I take the loop in your left ear and trim it down just as little as it will allow me and then start them both, It'll sound like the same loop, but after one loop, the two loops will gently start drifting out of phase. Listen to how their rhythm and melody changes over time. As with the dig attack before, a sequencer isn't running. These are just virtual tape loops or looping samples repeating themselves drifting very slowly away from each other. enjoy these kinds of shenanigans, there's plenty more where they came from in my book of electronic music ideas, tips, and tricks available to people who support this channel on Patreon. Hit the notification bell after you hit subscribe if you want to make sure you see more videos. Hit like if this was useful. Thanks very much for watching.